When commissioning a system today, it's increasingly common to also be required to store the system's energy data and to make it available. So, SBC offers S-Monitoring, an easy way to log the data on the controller and to save it in the file system. To set the energy monitoring function, open the device configurator. The automatic function can be set in the monitoring section. If you activate this, one value for each meter is automatically stored in the controller's internal memory once a day. Additionally, you can log the data at shorter intervals. Do so by activating 5-minute logging. 5-minute logging requires a memory card in addition to the internal memory, as it accumulates a huge amount of data. In my case, I've inserted an M1 flashcard. In addition to the memory types, you can also set how long the data is to be retained in the memory. Please note that the time set here must be decreased when more meters are connected. I've now activated the function, and I'd also like to automatically read SBUS meters via the RS-485 port. To do this, select the RS-485 port to which the meters are connected and activate the SBUS metering function there. Note that as of now, this port can only be used for the scanning of energy meters. No other devices can be connected or read via this port. Save the configuration and download it to the controller. If you now connect to the controller with an FTP program, you see that one value is saved for each meter once a day in a CSV file in the internal memory. Also, on the inserted M1 flash module, one value for each meter is saved every five minutes. Now you've seen how to activate the automatic function for storing energy data. In other tutorials, I'll show you how to now use this data in the program, how to input other meter data, and what else you can do with this data.